What's the first thing you think of when you remember your child at home? The way the stairs creaked? The view from your window? Your mom at the kitchen sink? The first thing I think of are sounds, like the heat coming on in the middle of the night, or NPR playing in the background during dinner, or heavy trucks going by on Allen Street. Of course, I remember big things too. The star, the balcony, the skylights, all the art my parents made. It was on the walls, on the floor, just hanging. But I also find I think of little things. They're all coming back to me. I remember how uncomfortable this couch was, how it was an inch shorter than me when I stretched out, which kind of makes me think of these lines my dad drew on the wall to show me I was growing. I don't know why I think of some things, but not others. What I know is I grew up in a synagogue. And after it was a synagogue, it was a whiskey still. And after it was a whiskey still... It was a raincoat factory for wild plastic, cheap plastic raincoats. This place was? Yeah. And uh, shower curtains. All right. So after it was a shower curtain factory, my parents rented it and turned it into a studio. And this is where my dad painted. And that's his easel. And this is where my mom sculpted. And those are her sculptures. And this is where I read a lot of comics and watched TV when I was supposed to be asleep. I definitely think of lying here at night and looking at these big synagogue windows and just kind of assuming it was haunted. What did I love about the apartment I grew up in? Why do you keep calling it an apartment, actually? Why do I keep calling it an apartment? Yeah. As opposed to a loft? Or a space. It's really not an apartment. Excuse me. What did I love about the loft I grew up in? Well, I definitely loved the sliding door in the hallway. And I loved all the books. I loved the banisters, like I was in a castle. And I loved the details. Details which I totally took for granted because I saw them every day. I love that I got used to living in a place like this. A place where you just find a hundred year old pieces of prayer book in a corner sometimes. A lot of the extraordinary things about this place, the height of the ceiling, the star, the, the skylights, whatever, uh, it really ha does go away, at least for me. Maybe Joyce is more sensitive to it than I am. But, um, you know, I, I don't even... It's absorbed in our consciousness. It's really, it's yeah. part of us. Right. I mean, I think these things probably have affected us in deep and profound ways, but it's certainly nothing that I think about at all anymore. One thing I never thought about was what it looked like from the outside. I grew up in an old building between Allen and Orchard on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. There are a lot of old buildings on the Lower East Side. And there are a lot of new buildings taking the place of a lot of old buildings and rising way above them. They have elevators and doormen. And the old ones, they have fire escapes and weird details. And you can kind of tell what they've been. I'd rather live in those. I'd rather see ghosts, I guess. But I'm biased because I grew up in an old building an old synagogue in a neighborhood where there used to be a lot of old synagogues. This one's a church now, and at first I thought it was weird that the cross was just planted on the star. But now I love it. I love that even though it's something new, you can still see the old synagogue it was. Our synagogue was built in the 1800s. It was a Romanian congregation. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. The gate of heaven. They were well known for their singers, their cantors. And my parents moved in a hundred years later. And they rented it for 45 years. People came and looked at art here. Curators came. Gallerists came. Other artists. Writers. 
Over the years, there's been a lot of looking here. After the singing, they were the lookers. So in a hundred years, it went synagogue, whiskey still, shower curtain factory, studio. You can still see that synagogue, you know? I think whoever moves in here is going to fix this up in a way that it will no longer be recognizable. What'll it be next? What'll it be another hundred years from now? I know this was a bakery, and I know this was a supermarket, and I know this was a synagogue, the one the Shari Shemoyam moved to after they left 70 Hester Street. And now, we're leaving it. But my mom said, don't make a movie about moving out. Make it about how great it was to live here. And someone else I know said, years after he left his childhood home, he still dreamed about it. But he dreamed about it empty. Is that how I'll remember this place in 10 years? Or 20? Or 30? I remember doing drawings. Uh, doing hundreds of drawings and having them just cover the wall, this, this long wall here. That's the kind of thing I want to remember. Not just the sounds, but things I didn't even think about when I lived here, like the fact that there's paint on everything. Things I discovered when we started clearing everything out, I'd like to remember those too. Like this closet behind the stairs that I was scared to go in when I was a kid. It was actually a hallway that connected the synagogue to the lower floors, and it was where my parents stored their old paintings. The congregation that built this place and then moved here, they just left ours behind. Why didn't they want to keep it? I mean, didn't they want to know who lived in it? Didn't they want to keep track of it? But what if that was a bad time for them, with a lot of bad memories? If it becomes a whiskey still, or artists live in it, or someday it just gets knocked down, maybe it's better to just let it go. I don't know, I'd like to hold on to it. The light, the sounds, the neighborhood. I'd like to walk by it and say I live there. I think very few people these days get to spend 45 years in one place. So I think we had, a, we had a very good run here. I mean, it's... Um, it's almost 46, actually. Almost 46. Well, by the time we're at it. Yeah. I'd like to look at it from the outside and still see the synagogue it was. And other things, too. <laughs> 